I don't got a pencil, a pen, and it's book bag. All right, y'all, I'm lying. Hey, man, in today's video, as y'all see from that title, today we got a what's in my backpack, AKA backpack essentials that every guy must have going to high school. Yes, I know when you think about what's in your backpack, you think about school supplies like pencils and notebooks and papers, and that's gonna be in there too. But there's some things that go in here, y'all, that y'all might not know about. So I'm gonna put y'all boys on being ready to learn, but also being fresh and prepared, y'all. It's very important, so we're gonna get into it today. But hey, man, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, y'all, so first thing first, we're gonna start off with some hygiene essentials, y'all boys. You have to bring hygiene hygiene essentials went you at school because I know you may feel like okay you didn't brush your teeth in the morning you didn't got fresh you didn't put on deodorant you smelling good everything but think about it like this y'all boys y'all gonna be at school for eight hours so that freshness that you had ain't gonna be smelling as fresh as it was eight hours ago you gotta make sure that you stay fresh constantly you know what I'm saying you gotta keep up with it so I got some stuff that's gonna help y'all with that first things first in your backpack y'all a stick of deodorant y'all always keep deodorant with you you do not want to be known as the musty dude in class y'all nobody want that just think about it y'all you in class then they you know you hear Ooh, somebody musty. But I ain't looking. You know it's you. So you sitting there with the tight arms like these. Oh, yeah, I smell it. Trying to get the attention from the teacher, you know what I'm saying? You like this, because you don't want to raise your arm, because you know soon that mug go up. Yeah. <laughs> it's over with. So, yeah, y'all, make sure you keep your deodorant, because it's so simple just to, uh, you know what I'm saying, reapply real quick so that you always smelling fresh and you're not that musty one in class that you don't want to be here. So, the next thing in our backpack hygiene-wise is going to be a spray, y'all. So, a cologne, a spray, any type of fragrance that's going to keep you smelling good. Now, the reason I choose to bring a spray is because I don't be want to bring my, like, fancy cologne, like, at school, because that's for the house. But, yeah, make sure you get your smell good. But the number one rule y'all yes yes bring the spray 100 but don't just think you can spray over the mustiness y'all no 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 that's why i put deodorant number one because you gotta have both you can't you can't have this one and be like oh i'm gonna be good i ain't got my deodorant but i can use it no boy boy it's gonna be even worse i ain't gonna be smelling like must and breeze so yeah make sure that y'all keep both deodorant and you a good smell good the way that you smell goes a long way next out of the backpack is going to be some lotion uh this is self-explanatory you don't want your skin to be dry at school you don't want to have white elbows so just make sure you have some lotion that you can reapply whenever you know so your skin starts to get a little dry just to keep you moisturized and glowing during the school day yes i know learning is important at school but also not looking crazy is also important because you don't want to be somewhere uncomfortable somewhere that you already don't want to be y'all it's all bad so yeah make sure you keep you some lotion I suggest some Bath and Body Works lotion because it all tie into some fragrance because this right here smells even better than cologne most of the time. So if you got you some scented lotion, that's like a two-in-one right there. So, hey man, lotion is definitely a backpack essential. And lastly, on that like hygiene type, we're going to go with a chapstick or Vaseline. Any type of lip moisturizer, y'all. Y'all got to make sure that your lips is moisturized. Hold on. Make sure that your lips is moisturized because well, it's a whole cycle. So look, your lips get dry, right? So then they get white and you're like, oh, my lips white. So you... You lick your lips. Now you're gonna keep licking your lips every five seconds. So now your lips starting to crack. Now when your lips start to crack, then you gonna get that crack in the middle. Then you gonna start bleeding. They white, they hurt, and they crusty. You can avoid all that. Just bring you some Vaseline, chapstick, Aquaphor. Keep your lips moisturized, y'all. <laughs> now we on to some electronic type things, y'all. So we're gonna start off with some headphones, y'all. Music. Music is like the best thing in the world when it comes to school, y'all. Because I'm trying to tell you, if you don't have your music, you are gonna be sad, y'all. <laughs> Especially like on the bus ride, the time before the bell ring walking through the halls you got some free time you're gonna be want to listen to some music so make sure you got you some headphones some airpods whatever you use to listen to your music make sure y'all bring that in your backpack because y'all i'm trying to tell y'all music get you through the day have your vibe but whatever you want that vibe to be you can play that using your music so headphones is really important next we got our charger y'all like i just said about the music you're gonna be sad now imagine you leave your phone don't want to die you ain't even like, you be ready to go home instantly immediately so make sure you bring a charger just so your phone don't die like say you forgot to charge it that night or even if your phone just die fast or during the day your, your battery just draining make sure you got a charger so you can always keep your phone on you for emergencies or just but just some little breaks you know what I'm saying? you go to the restroom you check your phone or checking for the time anything just making sure you got your phone at all times so to make sure that that can happen bring a charger last but very not least that is not a school supply y'all boys Hey man, bring y'all some snacks, y'all boys. Look, now I know, I know the school sellers be coming in handy sometimes. You know what I'm saying? They come out with the chips and, and the cookies and all that. Y'all, they be coming in clutch. I ain't gonna lie. But you ain't gonna have cash every day, you feel me? So make sure you bring you some snacks on your own because you don't want to pay a dollar every single day. And then say, look, you go through the day, like it's later on in the day. They got all the nasty chips. Nah, they got they got Fritos and they got like the, the plain flings. Like, ain't but nobody want that. But you be the hot fries. But you know I want the hot fries. <laughs> so bring you something to snack on. You'll be a okay. All right, so now that all those things are out of the way, we're just gonna talk about the normal school supplies. 
vlogs. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna keep it real short because I mean, we all know this. We've been going through school for a long time now. Yeah, man, just make sure y'all got y'all some notebooks. Uh, Keep y'all composition and regular uh notebook. I say that because you know what I'm saying? Some classes they require the composition books, but also sometimes you want some a little more professional, not just like the little ones you can rip out. Have you some notebooks for each class or some composition books for utensils wise? Keep you some pencils, erasers, pens. You know what I'm saying? You always need your writing utensils, you know what I'm saying, for school work and tests and all that other stuff. So keep you a couple pencils because you know you're gonna lose a couple. Somebody ain't gonna have one, you're gonna let them borrow it, they ain't gonna ever give it back. So keep you a couple pens, couple pencils so you can always have something to write with, some erasers, you know what I'm saying? The basics, you feel me? Some paper. And then one thing that I really do recommend is having different multicolored folders for your different subjects because it just keep all your work in order so that you're not like scrambling all over the place. So say for science and reading, you keep it in the green folder. For math, you keep it in the red folder. For, you know what I'm saying, geography, you keep it in the yellow. You know what I'm saying? Just have different folders for different subjects so that you can keep work organized so you know exactly where to go so you're not like rummaging through your backpack for 10 minutes trying to look for a certain paper that's all scrambled. So yes, folders is one thing that I do really recommend, especially for high school. But hey man, that's gonna wrap up the video. Uh, One thing, I guess honorable mention could be some gum, but you gotta be, you gotta be real careful with that, but you know what I'm saying? Cause as soon as you open that, like, everybody, hey, can I get some gum, everybody? Chips too, snacks, yeah, they gonna, you know, look, this right here, <laughs> this right here might maybe the worst thing that you gonna see if you got snacks, you got gum, whatever, y'all avoid this. You gonna have to sneak it up like these, huh, man, I don't, I don't know. That's gonna wrap up the video. Hopefully it's helped y'all and it's gonna get y'all ready. So you know what I'm saying? Have your backpack stacked and packed and ready for your high school adventure. If y'all did like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I post a new video every week, so if y'all boys show up, I'm definitely gonna be here. But hey, man, it's been your boy Key, and I'm out, man.